Well, I tend to get not, not to get very excited about. I think that technology changes the world, and, it, and that reminds me of a thing. If I ask you what was the biggest, the worst single mistake in the work of Adam Smith, you know, I know I'd get a, I don't see everybody big eyes lighting up. <laughs> the biggest mistake in the work of Adam Smith, he was totally right about markets and so on and the advantages of trade, division of labor and so forth. What he missed was how much the steady advance of technology would advance wealth and standards of living. He, in the 1700s, was living not too much differently from the way they lived in the Roman Empire, and he just missed it. But, and there, in fact, had been huge improvements in technology, but he just missed it. He wasn't very technically minded, and it was really stupid. And now I'll ask you a harder question. What was the worst mistake David Ricardo made? I'll bet the dean can't answer this question. I'm not going to ask you to try. <laughs> I'll, tell you the an I'll tell you the answer. David Ricardo missed, he got the first order consequences of trade perfectly right. And it was not an obvious insight, and it was a great achievement, which is, but he didn't think about the second order consequences. He, he wasn't mathematical enough mm. to see, and he wasn't mathematical to think what would happen when one country had way higher living standards than another. And he, 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 like Adam Smith, he missed. And the main issue in a place like the United States is if, if you have an advanced nation and some other nation, which is numerous, but the people, if anything, are better on average than yours in terms of their innate quality, which I think is roughly true of China. And, and, and they're in poverty, they're living in caves, and they're caught in a Malthusian trap, and you got an advanced economy, and you suddenly go into free trade. What is going to happen is, Ricardo proved it, both sides are gonna live better, right? But the people here that are assimilating all the great economies of the world in China, they're gonna go up way faster. So you go up 2% a year and they go up 12. And pretty soon they're the dominant nation in the world and you aren't. Well, are you really better off? Well, the answer is no. And Ricardo never figured out any of that stuff. So I'm telling you that so that you can fix your inadequate knowledge of Ricardo. And, <laughs> and, but one of the interesting problems of that is you can't understand Ricardo properly in thinking about the United States vis-a-vis -vis free trade with China without thinking about the tragedy of the commons. Because if we had the only nation in the world except for China, we could say we won't trade with them, we'll just leave them in their damned agricultural poverty and we'll just, you know, and we could probably have done that. But well, the whole rest of the world will trade, but they're gonna rise anyway. So we have, don't have any power to, to, to hold back the, the rise of China by not trading with them. So we had to do what we did. And once you do that, now they're going to be a greater power than we are. And the two of us are gonna be big enough so we can accomplish pretty nearly anything we both want to do. So we have to be friendly with China. So you can imagine how I like Donald Trump complaining about the Ch Chinese. <laughs> it's really stupid. <laughs> it's a compulsory friendship. It's a compulsory friendship. You, you'd be out of your mind to do anything else. Why wouldn't you want to have an intimate, friendly relationship with the biggest other power in the whole damn world? Yeah. Particularly when they got a bunch of atom bombs. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just nutty. We have no alternative but to do this. And when that happens, you're gonna get a certain amount of misery at the people who are competing with the Chinese as they rise from poverty with trade and so forth. That was inevitable. It's not the fault of a bunch of ev evil Republicans who don't love the poor. Yeah. That is just total balderdash. It just happened. And we didn't have all these choices.